I'm not talking about sales training, I'm talking about an actual process that is a thought through stages. And for many small business owners that haven't had a formal sales education, professional sales education, the, the idea of defining some stages and then defining some criteria for when people move through stages is a little bit alien to them. So fundamentally, you've got, you get a lead, right? Then you're gonna qualify the lead. You've got to do some discovery work, fact finding where the lead is finding out about you and you're finding out about the lead. Then there's some kind of bidding process, proposal, quoting process. And then there's some kind of follow up to close the deal. And they're fundamentally the stages of the sales process. So if you can define those as the sales process for your business, and then actually put down some criteria for when people move from one stage to the next stage. So I used to work in some fairly big sales organizations where one person's idea of a qualified lead was not the same as somebody else's idea of a qualified lead. So as a sales manager or as the business owner, if you've got people who are saying, yes, that's a qualified lead, I want to go and do some work on that, that's costing your company money to do the work. And sometimes the salesperson was deluded in thinking that it was a well-qualified prospect when it really wasn't. And if you're trying to look at your pipeline and see how many people have we got in these stages, you do need some definitions of what all the, what each of those stages is. And if you haven't done that, then it, may, it makes a nonsense of your number tracking and your percentage conversions. If we didn't have a good criteria for what people were in those stages, what point they're up to. Also, it's very enlightening if somebody's at a particular stage, you can think through, so this is the actions I need to take to move them to the next stage. And also the time frame you need to take to move them to the next stage. So doing the work to just sit down, and this is a paper exercise. It's not a technology exercise. It's just drawing out a grid and figuring out what are the stages? What's the definitions? What should I do to move people along the process? That's a hugely worthwhile exercise for a business to do. Even if it's the salesperson is the business owner, it's still worth doing it for yourself. If you've got a number of salespeople as a sales manager, you've definitely got to do that. Otherwise you won't understand what they're actually telling you when you're having a conversation about their pipelines.